Welcome back all you kings, queens, and in-betweens to an update video on one of the most heavily anticipated and well-reviewed anime of the 2023 year, and that is Oshinoko. We did a Should You Watch back after the 90-minute first episode premiered earlier this year, but we have finally gotten around to finishing the first season. And I will say, leading out of that first episode, we are going to spoil the rest of the season because you kind of have to talk about the result of the first episode in order to talk about the rest of the season and our thoughts on the rest of the season. So if you haven't watched the 90-minute first episode, then you're going to get spoiled for the rest of the season here. So watch that. Aline, what are your thoughts on Oshinoko Season 1 as a whole after the 90 minute special so this show rolled in with a bang it promised a lot a look into the dark side of the entertainment industry specifically in japan a sad story of a sick girl and her doctor and more and a first episode had me questioning just what i was gonna get because it just tossed us back and forth between genres and i had no idea what was going on but i was like <gasps> beautiful wonderful the anime looks good the premise is interesting we're getting murder mysteries this is gonna be great yeah and then the rest of the season was a lot of setup a lot of unnecessary interpersonal drama and stuff that i didn't really care about and i was sad i think that that's the biggest thing that bothered me about the rest of the season is that that first episode promised so much that first episode was probably the best anime that came out last year if you look at it from a self-contained perspective it told a whole complete story it essentially was just a movie and then the series that followed it was boring at times there's obviously more and the manga is still going so we can look at this at the, from the perspective of this is an ongoing series and this is just set up, which is what I'm looking at. And I think season two is going to be a lot better, but I was just bored at times here. At times, I was bored all the time. I feel like there was that whole dating show arc that we honestly didn't need. I think they could have worked in the stuff with Akane from a separate angle. I mean, I guess you needed to be introduced to the characters because one ends up joining the agency and Akane is going to be big going forward. So I guess you kind of needed that. But then we go right from that into the idol arc, like the first idol arc where the band's together and they're trying to become idols in their first performance. And that was very aqua light. So I think the fact that the main thrust of the story that was promised coming out of the first episode was kind of shelved for this season for the most part is the thing that bothered me. I think the other thing, and I could be mistaken, it might just be a case of reused footage, but at the end of the first episode, they show Aqua and Ruby going off to school and that footage is recycled at the end of the series. So it's like they skipped ahead to that point where they're older and Aqua announces, this is what I'm going to do. I want to find my mom's killer. I want to find daddy boy. But then they caught us up to that point in the rest of the season yeah and i was like that was unnecessary we could have just moved forward in time from that point i thought it was a strange choice yeah i'm not really sure they set up a lot of intrigue and they've started to dip their toes in the water of the mystery and finding out and who they have to talk to or who aqua has to talk to specifically and we're going to get involved with the theater group that his mom was part of and i'm assuming that's when we're going to learn more about what happened in her past because that was the moment where a lot of things about her changed so i'm hoping season two is going to be better but i would imagine that we've already lost elaine so elaine probably won't be joining us on any season two reviews wow no faith i mean i'm welcome to have you talk about this with me but you have a tendency to give up on things after one spurned experience well, I mean, episode one was amazing. The rest of the season sucked. So like Don Machi, I'm going to give it one more chance to get its butt together. And then I'm going to give up. So you're wrong, Jeremy. You're wrong. So you're going to okay. be back for season two? Yeah. And if it messes up, I'm leaving. So there. So should people watch season one after the movie? I mean, you got to get the stuff. You got to get the important bits, man. The character introductions. So yeah, from that standpoint. From an entertainment standpoint, it's, it's not so entertaining, but it looks good. It does look very good. And the music's cool. And the, the color and the... I like most of the characters to a degree. So I think you have to watch this. And I think it's going to get a lot better in season two. I guess we'll find out later this year when it comes out. Yeah. Something that's always good right from season one is the Should You Watch content here on the channel. Like the video if you like it. Comment down below. Are you caught up on Oshinoko? Are you a manga reader? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of this content going forward and ring that bell so you know what's up. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.